something I really appreciate about most movie adaptations of novels is that, most of the time anyway, the vision and message that the original author wanted people to see shines through no matter what. I mean, sure, the production can try to cram some other things into the picture, but that main message still usually shines through. I mean, I haven't seen an example where at least some of that message still hasn't shown through, you know? And so Dune is no different in that regard. I mean, if they were trying to shove some sort of Twitter-like messaging in there, I sure didn't see it. But let me go into some of the things that I did notice. I thought it was kind of weird the way that people were spaced out in different scenes. I mean, maybe it would make sense if it was in a play or something like that, and you, and you, you, you know, you, but it just sometimes people were spaced really far apart, and then they talk quietly, as if they're ta they're right next to each other, and that's kind of weird. There, there was one scene that was that was kind of absurd. Um, you know, two people they're standing like 15, 20 feet up apart from each other. It's this really foggy or smoky uh, place that they're in. And they're just talking like really quietly like this, as if they can both. It's just like, come on, you, you want to be able to see each other too, get closer. But they just kept the scene that way. I, I don't know why. It was kind of weird. Another thing I noticed is like just so many huge buildings, huge structures, you know, huge pieces of architecture with no real purpose behind them. I mean, the biggest problem is it, it it never felt like there was an actual civilization anywhere. Maybe there was a civilization there in the past or something like that. I mean, as far as people, all you get to see are either these important people or military or vigilantes. It, it, it was weird. There was a scene where uh, you choose a maid. Was it a maid or was it a... I can't remember the position... And they had a bunch of people all dressed exactly the same, and uh, they they chose this one person because they had the you know that bluish in their eyes, and uh, but it, it was that was the only hint at anything that showed a possibility that people had any sort of life in that place, and maybe that's all the book talked about either. So we're not supposed to you know really know about the way that people lived. If we're, sh if we're supposed to be showing a, a, a civilization, you, you gotta get something showing just some sort of context, but I just didn't get any. I, I mean, the movie kind of makes me wonder, are there common people? Is there such a thing? Or is it really just these people in high positions and, and royalty and then the armies? Something I thought was kind of weird, too, was this, the pain box. There's this box that it's this test, and uh, you're supposed to put your, your, your hand in this box and experience all this pain. And in the original 1984 movie, you know, they, they really tried to show something that represented, hey, this is painful. You know, they had visuals. Now, maybe, maybe some of the visuals were cheesy, but whatever, they, they had visuals. On this... It's just him sticking his hand into this box. And, I, I mean, they did a good job showing that, that he's in pain, but at the same time, you know, there, there's this point where, I mean, you, you know when someone is in so much pain that, that, that you're, you're about to throw up kind of thing, right? There's a point where they have him like that, and then just seconds later, oh, he's he's able to figure out how to get past it. And suddenly that clammy look is completely gone just in a matter of seconds. I mean, I know it just doesn't, I don't know, man. I just think they could have done better on that. They spent so much time and effort and money on the special effects on so many of the other scenes. Scenes It would just, I mean, it, to even make it look like for a moment, like just fires coming out of the box or something, you know? I, I, they they clipped to showing a flame for just a moment, and it's just like that's not that's not enough. But uh, that's all right. Um, they got across what they wanted to, so I mean it, it worked. I just think they could have made the visuals better on that, right? 
although the music, the the, the soundtrack, you know, was pretty decent in, in most places. I mean, it's nothing that that I can sit there and hum. It's not that kind of soundtrack. But, uh, you know, as it really did add in, in most cases to... to it, it, to the enjoyability of the movie, and it added to the to whatever scene it was. There was one section that just really got to me, and that's they're they're flying over the city. They're 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 seeing this the first time. They're flying over this city, and there's this droning music, and it, it's going with it. it. It was kind of reminding me of uh, almost of a Blade Runner ish in some ways, just about the droning aspect. It just it had, you know, I mean, I mean, you can't beat the soundtrack to Blade Runner, but. And then you just, just for no reason, nothing changes on the camera view, nothing, and just suddenly these, these drums coming in, or something like that, and then and now it's back to droning again. But but nothing was on the screen to to, to suddenly represent that there's something extreme. It's just, that's I guess that's the soundtrack. We're uh, whoa, you know, oh whoa whoa a city. <laughs> I don't know. That was, it was kind of strange. Um, but uh. Another thing about the soundtrack was they there were times they used that boom mm, sound. I don't know how to really describe it other than that. It's just this bass that 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 keeps going further down in in pitch. And it sometimes has been used in 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 different, you know, movie music soundtracks and they they were using it sometimes here, but then there were some other points in the movie where there were some ships and there was some technology that seemed like it was making almost the same sound. So it's just like, yeah, you, you shouldn't, if, if there's going to be sound effects in the movie that, that have a similar sound, then don't use that sound in the soundtrack, right? But maybe, maybe they didn't work with each other and think about that or whatever. And then that was kind of a weird thing with the soundtrack. Um, I'm glad that they actually gave a reason to explain some of the technology, you know, they, they, you know, they're new to these, these people are new to the technology. So you got to explain it just a little bit. Okay. That's cool. There are some movies that don't do a good job at showing that there, there's a reason to explain it at that time. They just, you're just watching the movie and just suddenly the person turns and goes into detail about this. It's just like, yeah, but if they were living in that world, they, they wouldn't need an explanation. But in this case, they needed one. It worked. I thought that was good. They, they 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 planned that well. I think the scene where they they saw one of the worms for the first time, I thought that and and the there, there's a scene connected to it. I'm not trying to, to give spoilers. So the, the scene connected to it, I just thought that went on a bit too long. The hallucinatory part w- w- was kind of, was important, but that whole that whole thing could have been a, a lot shorter. I mean, other instances of the worm don't aren't this huge buildup and in, in bringing it. Yeah, it's it's it just took too long to me. There's this one point where they're just they're just under attack. There, there's no real rhyme or reason. I, I'm not going to give away some of the scenes there, but it just it's just like well, suddenly there's a full blown war. They don't paint the other side very deeply, you know. They just paint that side as being very cruel and inhumane. There are reasons for this inhumaneness, but they don't, they just don't go into it that much. Now, maybe the book didn't either, but I don't know. I, I should probably read the book at some point, but I appreciate that the movie doesn't get unnecessarily gory. I mean, I, there are some movies that are, that are, that, that the point of it is to be gory and, and, and that's fine. And I can enjoy that, but, you know, movies like this, they don't need to be necessarily gory. You know, they, they'll, they'll show someone hitting someone's head, but it, it's, it's so far, it's, it was kind of almost artistic the way they did it, right? So, you know, there's a war between people, and, the, and they just kind of swoop through it and just show, hey, there's a lot of violence going on here, and they didn't, they didn't dwell on it. Something else I really liked is they were using lasers realistically, First time I've ever seen them really used realistically in a sci-fi movie like that. You know, where, I mean, anything in its path, you know, if you keep it there long enough, it'll just keep going through, right? And, and it, I just thought that, you know, they can use it to slice. And I just thought that was cool. 
Something I thought was kind of annoying is that very few characters that you got to know anything about, to actually feel anything for, very few of them survived. I'm not going to say who or what, I'm not trying to give spoilers, but just that very few survived. And, I mean, if that few people are going to survive, I, I wish I would have known more about other characters, gotten to know something about them. I don't know whether the book would normally go into that more. I don't, I just, I don't know. You know, just about everyone else who isn't one of these characters you get to know something about just seem like two-dimensional characters. Oh, they either represent the military or just some sort of vigilanteism. And yes, it, it does end abruptly, as some people say, but it, it finishes a chapter in a saga. You, you know there's something major coming up next, and that's what the next movie is going to be. If, if there is a next movie, I certainly hope there will be. So I enjoyed the movie. It just lacked some context in how people lived. You know, what, what is that reality they're living in? You know, I'd like to know more about that reality, but it, I mean, yeah, they only have so much time, but I wish there was just some way they could have given us a little more context. You know, why are these people important? And how do they relate to the rest of society? If there even really is a society. And as I said, perhaps the book doesn't really go into that either. So I give this a 7 out of 10. I was entertained. The story was mostly recognizable. The main characters seemed solid, although there aren't many left by the end of the movie, but the main characters seemed solid. The effects were really impressive. I mean, really impressive. I, the, the, I, I just thought the, the, this, they're in these dragonfly vehicles, and, and the way they, they did, it was just really impressive. And most of the time, the soundtrack added to the depth of the film. So, it's definitely something I'll see again. I'd recommend it.